Hey there YouTube, the head idiot here. Uh, today, I'm going to make a little video showing you how to do a captured takedown uh, detent on a AR-15. Uh, first, of course, we start with our lower uh, things we're going to need. We're going to need the itty bitty set screw that will hold our spring and detent in place. Uh, it's a 440, and that's approximately an eighth of an inch. Uh, your, well, and of course the driver to put it in with. You'll need to get a tap. I went over to Lowe's, sorry about that, and picked up this 440 tap kit. I mean, it comes with a drill bit. You don't need the drill bit for this particular project, but you never know what you'll do down the road. Um, you'll need a tap handle, obviously, uh, some sort of lubricant for uh, tapping the hole, and uh, you know your takedown pin and detent and all that. Uh, oh, and a pair of diagonal cutters. We'll get into that. That's controversial, but uh, so anyhow, we we've got our lower here, uh, taking the tap and putting it into the tap handle, which of course never goes as quickly as you want it to when the camera's running, but that's okay. Um, and I guess what I could have done first before I wasted time putting the tap handle together, huh, not that I'm wasting time doing that. Okay, tighten you up. Yes, maybe I should have had that pre-assembled, but okay, so you know, we have a tap and a tap handle. Um, let me take our takedown pin and insert it into our lower. Uh, I'm going to put the little detent in. Hold on, I don't know if I put that in the right way or the wrong way. Actually, there isn't an either or, but yeah, okay. So, got it in there. Uh, Actually, I'm going to take that back out because I'm going to tap the hole first. Okay, so don't pay any attention to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so first we're going to take our tap. We're going to put a little bit of oil on said tap because you want to lube whenever you're tapping. Okay, here's oil. That's more than enough. And since this is aluminum and not steel, you're, you're not talking about requiring a massive amount of strength here. It, it, it pretty much taps like butter. And if it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. So, now, we don't need to tap the entire hole because, well, we, the set screw is only about an eighth of an inch. So, I'm going to guess, let's back her on out here. Uh, one other thing that could be handy, and I'm going to grab that right now, is some compressed air to blow that on out. Uh, get the schmutz out of there. There we go. Now, I'm pretty sure we're deep enough, but let's take Mr. Set Screw and find out for sure. Dee -dee 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 Nope, we're going to need just a wee bit more. A wee bit, Captain. I, I'm going to clean the tap off here. Alright. Put a little bit more oil. I wiped it off when I took off the wood chips. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is actually very easy. I could have been done with it way sooner than it took to make this video. But, since I'm talented like this, that doesn't mean everybody is. Take my compressed air and give this guy a little blow. There you go. Popped my cork. Okay, so anyhow, 
we should definitely be deep enough now. Oh, that is perfect. We are flush. Okay, actually I'm going to give it just one more turn to heat up a little bit more. Just, just a couple more threads. Okay, cutting, cutting. Okay, that should be grand right there. Just want to make sure that I'm not, you know, putting a little set screw under tension. Nope. Blow out the hole before I try and do that stuff. Ugh. Yeah. So. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to need our detent and our takedown pin. We're going to put Mr. Takedown Pin in. We're going to stick Mr. Detent in. And now here's where Mr. Dykes come in. The, yeah, Mr. Dykes. You can tell I hang out around kids sometimes. Uh, now that we've made this uh, about an eighth of an inch shorter than the spring would normally go, you know, the spring would normally be flush. Now we're recessing it about an eighth of an inch. This is controversial. Some people say cut the detent spring, the detent. Some people say cut the spring. I say cut the spring. It's easier. All right. So we've cut Mr. Spring. Now we're going to take Mr. Set Screw and put her into place. This is under pressure. And you can launch it across the room, just like when you do the front detent. But, eh, come on, cooperate, please. Okay, you know, it's not doing this. It's doing it because y'all are watching. If y'all weren't watching, it wouldn't be behaving like this. Okay. All right, I'm going to cover it up just for right now. Nope. I lost my little set. Okay, well, I lost my set screw onto the floor. Fortunately, I saw exactly where it went. Okay, you might think that this is. All right, I am going to use you to compress the spring. Then I'm going to get in there with Mr. Takedown Detent Set Screw. Once I get a couple of threads, I should be good. Okay, I've got a couple of threads. So we're going to tighten this down. I may come back later, put a little... That's not flush. There we go. I may come back later, put a little Loctite on that. Just, uh... Just because. Although once it's in there, chances are you're not going to be taking it out. And now I can go with any kind of stock configuration I want to, and I don't have to worry about losing that little bugger. And, you know, my takedown pin is now installed. I should have put a little lube on the pin first, but... <clears throat> All right, you two. So, thank you for bearing with me.